tell us kind of what happened with Damien and Kevin? Uh, Damien just felt in one practice, you know, a couple of weeks ago, felt a little twinge in there, felt a little pull, and uh, so we, you know, rested him for a little bit, see how, how he's reacting to it. It wasn't getting any better. Uh, did an MRI, found a tear in the MRI, and then uh, uh, he went up. He went up to Colorado to consult with Philippon and and to make a decision. Obviously, they decided to do surgery, but uh, you know, it should be three to four months for him to be able to get back on the field and play. You know, he'll probably be back training or starting to do things with the team, and you know, six six weeks, eight weeks. And what happened with Kevin? Kevin just in the in the game uh, on Sunday in the reserve game when he planted. Uh, felt as he planted, felt his foot stick a little bit in the grass, uh, and uh, you know that was probably what you know threw it into an ACL tear. So, uh, so his ACL tear. We're not quite sure when we do surgery yet. We want uh, we want his range of motion to be good, and and the swelling. The, you know, there's a bit of swelling in there right now. We want that swelling to come down, and once that's once that's uh, where it, where it needs to be, then we'll do surgery. Do we, either of those change uh, your ability with? The the three players on loan right now do you reevaluate those yeah we always have options with those guys you know right now so uh, you know right now in the short term it doesn't probably change anything you know it might change change some things long term you know Portland look any different after further viewing uh, you know it's an exciting game you know uh, I think you know when you look at the game there you know could have been six six as well and probably nobody could have complained much uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, goals for each team uh, came as a result of, uh, uh, came as a result of, uh, you know, errors always. I mean, there's always some errors in the back. If you didn't, I always say to the guys sometimes, if nobody made any errors on the field, you wouldn't need a goalkeeper. Uh, you know, so some errors happen. But when you look at, uh, you know, three of their goals are up for goals of the week. You know, there's not many times a team scores three goals of the week goals in one game. So... Uh, you know, it is what it is, and uh, but what I'm, you know, what showed through loud and clear is, is uh, our willingness and our ability not to give up, and uh, our willingness to keep battling and fighting back, and uh, you know, at four two, continuing to believe in ourselves and pulling a four four out, and uh, and being very close to the five four as well. So as encouraged as you are by by that part of it, are you getting a little worried about the the defense, or do you feel like it's isolated issues? No, I mean, it's been individual mistakes, but certainly we have to look at it. And, you know, obviously today in training we worked on it a little bit. Uh, you know, I think we got to do a better job uh, in terms of our transition. You know, right away when we lose the ball, I think we got to get tighter to people. I think you know, we've got to do a better job of sliding across the field. But those are all things that we're going to work on. How much more important does that become with Dallas being the top scoring team in the league right now? Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's obviously Dallas is off to a very good start. They were off to a great start last year as well. Uh, you know, they're a team that uh, always gets a lot of games at home at the beginning of the season. That helps their start. Uh, and, and we're going down to Dallas. So, uh, you know, we're happy we're not going down in the summer. Uh, so that's a good thing for us. And, uh, you know, they're a team that we know they've got speed on the wings. We know Diaz has gotten off to a very good start for them. Uh, as an attacking midfielder, so we've got to make sure we're prepared. But uh, you know, we'll be better defensively than we were against Portland. You, you were, I think, the first last year to sort of identify Dallas's fast start as sort of misleading. Do you see them in any way as more legit this year? Uh, you know, obviously, it's a different, you know, different situation now with Oscar there as the coach. Uh, you know, it's obvious, you know, with the situation in the off season that. Dallas is where he wants to be you know he spent a lot of years there and so forth and I have a lot of respect for him and uh, you know he's done he's done a good job with that team the emergence of Diaz this year uh, has helped them you know last year Ferreira was uh, sort of hot and cold with his play a little bit and uh, you know so they've sort of replaced that with Diaz and uh, you know other players are starting to mature uh, so certainly Castillo's more mature than he was last year as a player and Javon Watson has gotten off to uh, a hot start so uh, uh, you know might not be the same as last year but we'll see. What did you, what did you think of Lamar's performance coming off the bench and, and kind of providing a spark this week? I thought both Lamar and, and Papa helped us off the bench, you know, and we shifted more into, you know, almost like a 4-4-2, four, uh, four, four, you know, to, uh, and, and to accommodate that and make that work. But I thought Lamar hit some good passes, you know, found, uh, obviously was involved uh, in, in our third goal, you know, was, uh, 
uh, you know, was also, uh, you know, hit the ball that Oba or uh, hit another ball that uh, to Dempsey where Dempsey chipped it to the far post to Oba. So he's involved in a lot of good plays for us. Uh, you know, and I thought Papa helped us as well on the left a little bit, you know, in terms of holding the ball and, and keeping possession. And he really, you know, started a, a couple of good chances for us by good passes out of midfield. Last week when we asked you about Clinton, Oba, the way they've been playing together, you kind of made the comment, if anything, you wish they'd be more selfish. But as a coach, I imagine that's the better scenario when you have two, you know, goal scoring star players that they want to look to get each other involved. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know if I said I wish for them to be more selfish. I think, yeah, like I think what we really wish is, you know, you know, them to continue to find each other. You know, I think they, they like playing with each other. You know, they find each other on passes. You know, short passes sometimes. Sometimes it's got to be a little bit bigger. But uh, you know, I don't care who scores. I don't care who gets the assist, as long as we're scoring as a team. How do you feel the, uh, the four three three and the, the central midfielders are, are coming along? You know, I mean, I, I thought, uh, you know, I thought uh, Pineda did well. You know, I thought Ozzy did all right. Uh, you know, I thought it was a big game for Michael Azira. Uh, you know, and obviously, you know, it's uh, probably the biggest crowd or amongst the biggest crowds he's played in front of, uh, with the exception of maybe a, a game back in his home country or so forth uh, with the national team. But, uh, you, know, the, you know, it's a game you got to get used to. And for him, it was a difficult game. Uh, but uh, he'll be fine, and uh, those guys continue to advance. We miss Evans right now. Rose has got a little bit of a tweak, so those two guys uh, are other guys that fit into that. But uh, how we play as we move forward, that's something that we'll determine this week. And how are Rose and Evans health wise? Uh, both doing better, you know, both doing better. To, with, again, it was a little different training for them. Evans, we're being really slow with because he has a tendency to push too hard too quick and we think that's why he set himself back a little bit so we want to make sure that if he's not ready for Dallas this weekend he's definitely going to be ready for Chivas the next weekend. Being about a month into this season so far how do you feel the overall meshing kind of between new and old faces is going on this one? I think the meshing is good you know I think we've we've displayed our character on the field I think a number of times you know a tough win on the road in Montreal uh, you know I think uh, uh, coming back in Portland, you know, I think those things speak well about our character. Uh, also, the disappointment that the team felt after the game with Columbus and uh, even playing a man down, you know, feeling that, hey, that's one that we should have gotten at least a point and maybe more from. So uh, I think the meshing has, has been pretty good. Uh, it'll continue, I think, to get better as, uh, you know, get out there. The problem is, you know, Dempsey's really, really only played two and a half games for us, uh, you know, or two games in 30 minutes. Uh, you know, in another game. So so that's still going to take a little bit of time. What are you seeing this season and through this stage of his career, I guess, with Josh Ford? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Josh is fine. I mean, Josh is one is one of the best shot stoppers you ever want to see. I mean, you know, training and so forth, what he does is, is extremely good. And, uh, you know, with his knee injury last year and having to work through that and the surgery, you know, we want to make sure that we gave him the time. Uh, to be able to come back and 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 uh, get himself back to the level that we felt he was at. So uh, he's a goalkeeper we think is uh, is a very talented goalkeeper for the future. You know, it might be a time as we move forward in this season that uh, uh, there'll there'll be possibilities for us to loan him out a little bit to get some games uh, as well. Uh, I think that's important for him. But uh, he's definitely a goalkeeper that we feel very good about. You mentioned the, the moment being kind of big for Michael Azira. Did you think that also applied to Jaleel, or how would you kind of describe maybe the struggles that he had in that? I just, you know, I just thought he had, he just had a bad game in terms of a couple of plays, you know, there. I mean, certainly he made a couple of good plays where he sets up Cooper for the goal, and, and he's unlucky not to get a goal in the second half that hits Oba in the foot. So he makes a couple of good plays, but then there were a couple of plays where he needs to step up and get tighter. He knows that. And uh, obviously where he gets, he gets stripped from behind by, by your Rudy. Uh, so, um, you know, it, it always comes down to that, but I don't think it's a case of that he was overwhelmed. I mean, certainly it's different playing in a Seattle-Portland game than playing in a Chicago-Portland game, you know. I mean, the crowd's the same, but the atmosphere is a little bit different, and he knows that as well. But, uh, you know, he, he made some good plays, made some bad plays. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll continue to be part of what we're doing, an important part. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.